Hi, my name is Joe Davis. I'm with Mojo Portal and uh, i7 Media. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about Mojo Portal today, how to edit uh, things on the page, how to create new pages. And uh, what you're looking at right now is the Mojo Portal web page itself. And from here, you can look at docs, you can participate in the forums, ask questions, answer questions. Uh, you can get new add ons. And uh, for today, though, we're just going to focus on this demo button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So we've got the uh, Mojo Portal demo website here. This is reset every hour on the hour. Uh, so if you go in here and you break stuff, uh, well, we just reset it and fix it all right back to where it needs to be. Uh, first thing you want to do when you get your website uh, started here is you need to log in. So uh, in most of our themes, you can log in down at the bottom. There will be a login link. However, some of them don't have that. Uh, some some people don't like a login link uh, anywhere on the page. So uh, this particular uh, theme doesn't have that. So if you just go up here to the top to your URL and you put in forward slash admin, that'll take you right to the admin page. And the default login for a Mojo Portal site is admin at admin.com. And the password is admin. Everything's lowercase. And uh, if your website still has that, I beg you to change it. So we're going to go ahead and click log in and that will take us to the administration page. Um, we're, we're not going to focus too much on that today. We're going to focus on editing. So I'm going to click on my logo here and get back to the edit page or I'm sorry, to the home page. And on the home page, um, we've got a nice slider here and we've got a little bit of content here. And then we have uh, some more content over here to the right. And each piece of content can be edited simply by clicking the edit link next to the content. And same thing with the slider. We see this slide. If we wanted to edit that, we can click the edit slide uh, link right there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that for editing uh, these uh, slides here. We're going to click edit slide on our Fox. We see we've got a slide title. We can choose whether it's an image or a video. We've got a slide image, image URL. So do we want to uh, link off somewhere? Is it a, uh, do, do we want to use a caption? And then a sort rank. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the image here. And that's going to load this up. And this is our nice file manager. So I can go through here and I can click through and find some images that I already have on my site. And if I decide I really like this uh, uh, Mayan pyramid deal here, I can just select it and I'm going to hit save. We'll click through to see our slide. There it is. So works pretty well. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I actually want to get rid of that slide. So I'm going to hit edit slide. And then I'm just going to delete it. And that slide goes away. Pretty simple. All right. For <clears throat> regular content editing, we're going to click our edit link next to the content. Notice that pops up. We've got a nice editor here. And uh, using this editor, I can do all kinds of things. I can insert images, videos. Um, I can paste in full Word documents if I wanted to. I can go to the source view and I can play around in the HTML, which, uh, you know, power users may want to do that. And uh, I'm going to show you a few basic things with it. Uh, so if I decided I needed to create a link um, here on this, uh, you know, on this uh, particular piece of content, I could do that by selecting a word clicking the link button and then I can type in whatever I need to into the uh, URL box here. Or if I'm linking to a page that's already on my site, um, I would click the browse server button here. And the browse server button will actually bring up a new window and in that window, you'll see the file manager. Um, if we wanted to link to 
uh, a file there on our own site. We could choose one of these many files here. Um, if we wanted to link to a page, we would click pick a page. Then we would go through and find the page that we wanted to link to and we'd click it and then we'd hit select page. And you notice it shows the URL there for us. So we can go ahead and click OK. And we see that that's turned into a link. I wanted to edit that link. I could double click on it. And then I can make some changes here. If I wanted it to open up in a new window, I can do that. I can put some style sheet classes on it. So all of the themes that come with Mojo Portal uh, have Bootstrap built in. So I could do some Bootstrap classes in here. And click OK. And look at that. I made it a button. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just click a Update on there. And we notice that our link is a, actually a button now and when we click it it works and it opened up in a new tab okay the next thing i'm going to show you on the right hand side here we've got a, uh, a video button and we've got an accordion the accordion is actually using a bit of content that uh, is using jquery uh, accordion and that is an older accordion tool that, that we used to use and it's still sitting in our, here on our demo site but with um, Mojo Portal 2.6 I believe it was or 2.5 uh, we released a special tool called Superflexi and Superflexi lets you create all kinds of cool things including this lovely little slider up here one of the things that it lets you do uh, right out of the box uh, is accordions and to show you a difference, I'm going to click edit here on this bit of content. And you see our accordion here, and it doesn't really look like an accordion. So when you're editing this content, you can definitely do it. Um, and we can change things all we want. But it gets a little... Uh, a little wonky so we're going to click update here notice that says section 2a which is correct and then section 4 it says i've edited this content so that you know it, it works um, but doesn't look real clean so we're going to edit this a different way so we're going to click edit this page we're going to choose super flexi from our feature list and I'm going to type in accordion into the title. I'm going to choose the right content pane over here on the right. Click create, and there it is. So um, I, it's a super flexi module, so I know I need to edit that uh, or edit the settings of it so that I can tell it what super flexi solution to use. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and click the gear. That takes us to our super flexi settings. And I'm going to choose accordion. And just because I know I don't want that title to show, I'm going to go ahead and set the title to not show. I click save. Now I've got an item or a super flexi module right here. And I can click add item to add a new accordion item. So I'll click that. And... To use the same stuff we were using before and i'm going to throw in some more mipsum here save that look at that we've got an accordion section now you could use this without it being an accordion really um, just to show a little bit of content in a, in a nice square box there if you needed to do that um, so we don't need to we're, we need to show the accordion in all its glory. So I'm going to copy out some more warm ipsum, paste that in there, save it. Okay, that's working pretty good. Well, I'm going to add in another bit of content on this one, and this time I'm going to use an image. So I click my little image button, I got an image properties window. 
I'm going to choose my image from my file manager. And this time I'm going to choose that wolf that we deleted before. And I'm going to leave the width and the height alone. I don't want to mess with that. And I can center it and tell it I want it captioned. So there's our wolf. And I'm going to put in my caption. And then I'm going to click Save. Now, I'm going to go to Section 3, and look at that. It resized it for me a little bit. And I want to caution you there. You don't want to put in, you know, great big images. But uh, in this case, we already have optimized that image. But uh, because of this using our framework skin and it's using bootstrap and it's going to resize that sucker to where it looks nice in this, uh, in the constraints of this box here. So look at that. We've got a nice uh, accordion. It's very simple to edit and I don't have to worry about breaking my HTML like I would with the old one. Well, there's really no sense in keeping that old one. So I'm going to go in and edit that and actually remove the old one. Select that content, delete it, and click update. So there we go. So we've done that. Um, I'm going to show you how to change the skin on your website. You may not uh, want to use this skin that uh, we're using right now, which is called standard blue. So to change the skin, uh, and a lot of other systems are called themes, um, we're going to go to administration over here in our admin drawer. Then we're going to click site settings. And from the site settings, you can do a ton of things. First thing we're going to do is change our skin. Um, I'm going to change it simply to standard green. Okay, so you're going to notice not too much changes here, but we're going to click save. Now we got kind of a mint green on our background, and we've got a dark green down here at the bottom. Um, the standard skins are all laid out pretty much the same, with the except, exception of uh, standard green swaps these links here and the address information. Uh, and that's just done as an example. Um, from this uh, skin, I'm going to show you editing this content in the footer. So <clears throat> within the footer, uh, we have some address info, we've got um, some links, and we've got some social media links, and we've got an image. So we can edit the address info just by clicking the edit address info, and it'll take us directly to the site settings uh, and to the company info tab. And then you can change out all this information to whatever you seem to think that you need. So if I wanted to make this uh, 816, so, oops, I put in the wrong area code. I can do that. And then I can hit save. And we notice that those changed right away for us. All right. And the next one, I'm going to add a new link here. And I'm going to make that link go to i7 Media. And this file chooser, uh, clicking here, will open up the file manager, just like this. And then you can choose a page, select that page, and it'll fill it out for you. Now, if you want to link to another website entirely, then you would click the gear here. Click the gear, and then you're going to type in that link. So I want I7 Media in there. I'm going to hit Save or Set, and then I'm going to hit Save. So now we've got a link down here. Okay. Social media links, pretty much the same thing. Uh, by the way, this module is super flexy, and so social media links. So if I wanted to change the Facebook uh, link, I can click the edit link next to that, hit my gear, and then change this to whatever it needed to be. Then hit set and save. If I had accidentally chosen the wrong icon, I could choose the icon I want and hit save. And we notice that changes to Tumblr. 
I don't want to use Tumblr. I do want to use Facebook. So let's put that back. Okay. The next one is modifying this uh, footer image. So we can click modify image. And then we click here. And we can choose whatever image we decided we want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this logo inverted. I can change my position. I can make it show up, go to the right. I can put in a caption. I can even set a background on it if I wanted to. So I can say it's going to be dark gray. Hit save. There we go. Now we see that we've got a caption and it's on dark gray. Well, I don't like that. So put that back to transparent without a caption. Save it. There we go. I'm going to put it back to what we had before, which is the Mojo Portal logo. Save that. And there it is. All right. Well, that's some quick uh, down and dirty editing in Mojo Portal. Um, if you have questions, feel free to go to the Mojo Portal forums. Again, that's at uh, mojoportal.com and go to the forums link and we got lots of forums here for you to uh, choose from and uh, ask uh, questions in we'd be glad to help thanks and i hope you check us out soon